What's up guys? In this video I will be doing a solo hold up against the automatons, and today I'm going to be explaining how to play stealthy against them. Because uh, a few days ago I uploaded another video with no commentary against the automatons and playing stealthy against them, and people had a lot of questions about it, including some who thought that I had changed my game files to make devastators not spawn, which I did not do. And uh, I just happened to get an easy mission profile that only had striders, which is why the mission felt really easy. So in this video, I've got the exact same mission type, same loadout, same stratagems, and we'll see how it goes. I'm just checking my extraction here to make sure it's clear, because it's always good to clear, clear this early before you're trying to extract. And I'll start with this uh, research station here, and hit that, that's cool. So let's see, we got the two dropships, the main tower, and a bunch of light bases spread out here. This is going to be fun to deal with. Try to avoid as many of these bot drops as possible, but we'll see how this mission goes. So let's see what we got up here. A couple striders. Let's see, let's take out these guys before they can bot drop. Normally, you want to prioritize the light bots, just uh, because obviously striders and devastators can't bot drop, which is a massive Hello thing to avoid, obviously. Now let's get this taken care of really quickly. There we go. And I'll check for samples in a second. I'm gonna try to get as many of those as possible. Actually, I'll just go. I don't want to fight that patrol back there. I'll go and get this bot base out of that direction. Moving around as much as possible will make patrols a lot easier to avoid, because they can only spawn near you. So if you're moving, they're just going to get uh, lost behind you. So we got a single rocket devastator. Just kill these guys so they're not an issue later on. Here's that base. Ooh, don't see me. That guy might have missed me if I'm lucky. Let's see if I can take this thing out. So, I think that might get both of them. On its way. And now here, I'm just going to let that bot drop come in, and I'm just going to run away. Now that it, uh, I got the base, that was all I wanted to do there. Now that I've uh, baited that out, I can head back to these dropships and hopefully have no bots behind me if I can run away fast enough. Yeah, I don't want to fight all those devastators, that does not look fun. Always best to avoid those bot drops when you can. It'll make your mission ten times easier. And from what I found, the easiest way to bait them out is just toss like an eagle strike into a base like that, and the moment like the it lands and the red beam goes to the sky, they'll usually bot drop, and you can just be gone by then if you tossed it well. There's a patrol that way that I'll try to avoid. Just trying to get around to these drop ships here. Kind of taking the long way, but it might be worth it. Okay, so I don't need to fight those guys. I'm just going to see if I can get around them here. It's a bad spot for a patrol. Unfortunately, there also is a factory strider there, which is going to be unlucky, but shouldn't be too bad. If I can just get, just get in close enough, I can toss my 120 and it'll get everything for me. Let's see, those guys missed me. That is good. I need him to not see me for at least a second here. Just sneak up here. Main objective nearby. See how many ships there are. Uh, I think it's it's probably three, but I'd like to see see them before I toss this in. Okay, it's time to go now. Firing orbital barrage. Clear the area. So that should get everything if I'm lucky, and I'm just gonna see if I can cut through the middle here without alerting too many bots. That's two ships gone. Come on, get the third one, please. Come on. Oh, I might have gotten a bit unlucky with that one. Nice. Oh, the last hit. That's amazing. And now I need to get out of here, because I alerted a lot of bots with that. Making noise always alerts a lot of bots to your position, so you got to be really careful. So this, the factory strider looks like he lost me. That is good. i got to watch out for those. When I'm talking too much, I kind of just 
wander aimlessly. Let's see. Let's try to get these dropships next, actually. I might just airstrike them because my 120 is still on cooldown. So that base still probably has a lot of bots in it, so I gotta be careful when I go past it here. Yeah, all those devastators are still up there. Don't want to feel like fighting them. Hopefully there's no factory strider at this one. Sometimes they both have one, sometimes only one has one, so it just kind of depends on the mission. Dude, I don't need to do this, but this will be kind of funny. Let's just blow that up. There we go. That took care of them. Now what I'm going to try to do here is, I'm going to push in to the middle of the map and take out that really fast, and then fall back if I need to. This may end up being a bit dangerous, but we'll see how it goes. I need to avoid those guys. There's probably a couple bots at this tower, I'm assuming, or this turret. Yeah, there's one. Okay, I'm not going to shoot him just yet until he shoots me. Oh, there's more than I thought. Thankfully, only one light bot, though, so no bot drops. I killed him. I'll just go ahead and take that thing out so it doesn't shoot me in the back. Three hits with a grenade pistol always does it. Oh, I've hit my shots. Need to do this fast, too. Kind of messing up here. Come on. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to go for those dropships, and then I'll probably head for the heavy base to the left of them. Let's see if I can get up here. I'm just going to pop that hell bomb to kill any bots tucked over there that might see me. Main objective nearby. Always take advantage of those hell bombs, because they can easily give you a lot of kills. So there's a bot drop. They did it. I don't know where they did it, but it wasn't here, so that's good. Kind of baited it out there unintentionally, which will happen sometimes. Got a bit lucky. One airstrike should get all of those. Oh, yeah, perfect. Nice. Mission progress logged. Let's go ahead and airstrike that fabricator, and then I'll send my eagle to rearm here. Let's see. Let's airstrike that. Pop that hell bomb. Alright. So here's what I'm gonna do now. Oh, gotta watch out for those turrets. What is that? There it is. What I might do is. I can probably get this with my grenade pistol since they just spot dropped, actually. I might go for it. Oh, those turrets. Normally I'd use my eagle for this, but uh, obviously I don't have it yet. Let's see if I can hit some of these shots. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. And when I'm attacking a heavy base like this, I try to stay outside the walls, because the bots obviously can't climb them. They can only get out through the entrance. Obviously, as I say that, he got up there, but... The Devastators at least can't really get up there. There's a tank in here, though, and I have nothing to kill it right now, so I gotta be careful. Oh, the turret. Just gotta, that's why I bring the shield pack so I don't die to random shots like that. Let's just go around the back here, I think. Get some supplies so I get more grenades for my pistol. I'm almost out. Got a lot of hell bombs this mission. That's kind of cool. They're always, help, always helpful. And resupply. Now I could just use my 120 here, and I might do that because I think they're both on this side to the left. Let's take out these light bots so they can't bot drop on me. Tanks on an issue, you could just run past them. Oh, there's only one left. I'll, I'll just use my grenade pistol, save the 120 for later. Thought there were more. Okay. So that one's gone. Let's go ahead and get these uh, these two over here. I'm gonna save this for last because once I finish that last objective, uh, more bots are gonna start uh, spawning for patrols. 
So it's always best to save one objective for last when you're able to. And that's actually a detector tower, so let's go ahead and do that. This is a, a good layout, too. I can just help on the side here. Without any of the bots seeing me, hopefully. Just stuck under that gate. Oh, yeah, this is good. Oh, give me my hell bomb. There we go. Let's do it right there. Grab that sample. So I'm assuming there's probably a couple side objectives here, maybe one at the top here. Oh, no. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> I feel like a nice change would be when you call in the hell bomb, it always is on the opposite side of when you called it in from. So it'd be nice if, like, you know, it appear on your side, like almost everything else. Stay under the his range for a second here so he can't call in bot drops. Because he can only see up to there. Nice. Let's Automaton go ahead and destroyed. get his fabricator really fast. It's a good bait on the bot drop there. Oh, it's back that way. That should take it out. I might have messed that up, actually. Uh, no, I got it. Nice. Now, I might have to fight these guys, unfortunately. Because it landed, like, on the edge there. But let's see if I can get around it. I don't think I can. Like, yeah, I can't swim through the water here, I don't think. Yeah, let's see. Nope, I gotta fight him. This is fine, though. Let's use an airstrike here to make it easy. Save the last one for the base. We have a lot of them, that's always good. Oh, come on. Where'd you come from? One thing with bot drops is, anything without Devastators, you can usually kill pretty quickly. Devastators are like that one enemy where it's like, obviously you can kill them, but it's not usually fun to do that. So if it doesn't have Devastators, I'm probably just going to fight it most of the time, just because it's usually a pretty easy one. Let's see, got a nice sample there. So there's one light base here, and then I'm assuming, yeah, that's this entire side cleared. I didn't see any side objectives back that way when I was over there. One of these is probably like another detector tower or maybe a stratagem jammer, one of those red dots. So we'll see when I get over there, but let's go ahead and use my eagle here so I can just rearm it. Take out you. And now, I'll probably go for that heavy base and use my grenade pistol again and hide outside its walls. Because my eagle just ha had a good resupply. We'll see how that goes. This is my last objective. I'm just gonna shoot these guys so they don't walk behind me. Anytime I see like a group of bots like that, which is like, you know, three bots at most, I just kill them because, you know, there's always a chance they see you when you run past them, so I may as well just shoot them if nothing else is nearby. And then I know most people always wonder this. I don't have any patrols on me because of how much I'm moving. So patrols are going to be spawning. I'm sure there's one back there somewhere, but because I'm already up here, it just lost me immediately. So staying very mobile. Yeah, you can actually see it. That red dot most likely is a patrol back there just heading this way. Maybe, yeah, you can't see them, but that's why I usually don't have that many patrols on me. Snipe him out. I've also noticed when you're able to one-tap a bot like that, like one bullet doesn't seem to really attract the bot's attention too much. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get this one. There we go. So this base is a bit more annoying because there's more, there are more holes in the walls for bots to get out of, so it's harder to like, you know, hide it along the edge. There's the bot drop. Not much I can do about that one, unfortunately. That one was gonna happen. Just gotta deal with it now. Let's see, let's take out these guys. Oh, come on. Can't get an angle on him. It's really annoying. There we go. Some fences are really weird to shoot through in this game. One more Hulk there. Let's not get hit by his flamethrower. Let's see. One more Fabricator here, I think. Might be on the other side, unfortunately. 
be nice to have my eagle right about now. Uh, 10 seconds, actually, it's not bad. Let's go ahead and kill these guys here. There's my eagle back. Maybe let my railgun to kill these walkers. There we go. Okay, where is that last fabricator? I need to find that now. I wonder if it's up top, maybe? Oh yeah, there's the smoke. Let's see if I can get it with this. Come on. That might get it, if I'm lucky. Might have to try again, though. Nice, okay, that got it. Okay, wait, hello. Oh, that's not good. I might be dead here. Those tanks can fire so many bullets, they can literally one shot you if you're not careful. Come on, Eagle. There we go. What turret even shot me? Oh, it's the other one in the base, obviously. Let's grab one more stim here. And may as well check the base for samples, you know, got a bit of time here. I'll go and rear my eagle here just so I get three strikes again. Got a couple more bots chilling in here. I forgot about that hole. Oh, here he comes. That was a bad stun, unfortunately. There we go. Unfortunately, no samples, it looks like. That kind of sucks. I was hoping to get a few. Yeah, literally nothing. All right. Maybe something up there, but I don't have time to go up there right now. So, And then I'm not going to get this done just yet, because I've got so much to do on that side. Plus three more side objectives, actually. So I'm hoping they're all kind of clustered there, but we'll see. I'll clear out some of these uh, bunkers here. I need to hit those shots. So it looks like, yeah, that's a detector tower, and that's not too bad. I bet one of these is also a jammer. That that one of them might be a jammer, but maybe not. Let's just head on over there. Um, I don't think I, yeah, I can't get through that. That's unlucky. It's going to be too deep. So good timing here on the tower. Oh, and that's uh, mortar emplacement. Yeah, everything. Okay, this is going to be a fun part. Everything's like clustered here. Let's try to, if I'm lucky, my 120 might be able to take out most of this. It's a pretty big one though. Let's just lob it in there. They probably will bot drop, but I'm just gonna let them do that if they want to. I'll push up after the barrage is done. Just let it soften up the base a little bit. Got one of them it sounds like. Let's see if we can get any more. In range of enemy artillery. Looks like there's just one left. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Almost got everything. Easy, easy way to get this just with a hell bomb. Hell bomb request approved. Deploying now. Grab all these samples here. Don't have too many of those yet, so. Super Earth Spider. Next, I will try to get that tower. Ooh, let's get this activated fast before the tower looks this way. Come on. Right, let's get out of here. I'll just hide here for a second while the hell bomb goes off. Oh, it's a C. Oh, that sucks. It's a C for artillery. Those are the worst objectives to have when you're playing solo like this and trying to be stealthy. They take so long to complete. Okay. You know, no devastators. We'll just go ahead and fight it. Let's use a stun there so they can't bot drop. And let's go get this uh, detector tower. Enemy uh, fortunately, he sees me. Oh, come on. Uh, where's my hell bomb? There we go. Okay, I know that works too. Go ahead and grab that fabricator if I can get an angle on it. I can't yet, so I'm lucky. I'll, I'll air check it in a second, probably. 
There's the bot drop. Probably shouldn't have shot that guy, but this should be okay. Just need to get this done. There we go. So now the tower is gonna start looking this way. Let's go ahead and airstrike up there. Oh, the hell bomb! I forgot about the hell bomb. No, please. Come on. There we go. Let's see if I can avoid that bot drop if I'm lucky here. Where is it landing? Can't even, there we go. Guys. Yeah, I think I probably avoid it. So there's one more fabricator, and obviously I like to take out everything. Just I like seeing no red on the map, you know? I consider that part of the objective, even though the game doesn't. Let's get that light base. So pretty good time here, actually. Got about 20 minutes left. Problem is, C4 artillery can always, you never know long, it, uh, never know how long it'll take. So unfortunately, this is not a good bot drop to be fighting here. Actually, only two devastators, not bad. Nope, there's one on the side. Never mind. Got one hull. It's not a flank hulk, though, so that's good. These hulks aren't too bad. There we go. Let's take out the rocket devastator first so he doesn't snipe me. It's always annoying when they do that. To get that headshot off. There we go. Come on, look at me. Oh, what are you doing? Got a single strider. Get some supplies in here. Sending down equipment package. Go ahead and grab that fabricator. Get this taken care of. Screw my supplies really fast. Probably should have called that in on the sea artillery, but this will be fine. Ooh, no, no, no! Please don't look. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, maybe, maybe I can avoid them still. That's what I get for a bad supply drop, though. You never want to have to like retrace your steps like that, like that, because the patrols will spawn behind you. I think I got away with it though. So we got three bases left. Obviously, the main objective. I'm gonna go for the Sif Artillery now and hope I can get it done in like under 10 minutes, which I know sounds like a lot, but these can take so long to complete if bots keep attacking you. So I should go for it now before I get the main objective done and patrols increase. That patrol shouldn't walk over here, I don't think. At least not for a little while. Tactical right. asset near your position. Oh, this is a good layout there. All the shells are close, or some of them are. I'm just gonna load over I find first. Normally I try to pick and choose what I want, but. Time's not really on my side right now. So we got two of those. I'll go and take the static field. Normally I wouldn't take these, but. Super Earth's finest, back in action. Just trying to get it done right now. Right, that's three. There's two more that are down here. And grab. We'll grab two napalm right now. Why not? Oh, no. Oh, that's fine. It's just two bots. That's lucky. So you gotta be so careful because he was about to bot drop too. And if I had let those two bots bot drop, that would have been not worth it at all. It's one thing when a patrol bot drops, but when one uh, light bot finds you and calls in a bot drop, it's—I mean, it's awful. Never, you'd never want to let that happen. Oh come on! I'm not doing this very well. Thankfully, this was a really good layout for the Sea Artillery, so I got it done pretty quickly. Getting the rockets over here. Get that sample in a second. Uh, let's see, we'll do explosive first, because these actually are pretty useful. Then I'll do double static field, and then I'll do napalm last. Don't really, don't really, really need that one. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this done. Very glad I got this done fast. It's going to make this mission a lot different. So now, let's see, we got... So go and get the light base on this side first, then I'll come back. Haven't seen the super samples yet, but not too worried about it. I've got way too many of those stored up. Because you don't have to use them too often. Probably just use my seat artillery here just to make some use out of it on that single fabricator. 
And let's see if I can bait out the spot drop, actually. I'm gonna try something here. So, if I'm lucky... Yeah, do a bot drop. Come on. Yeah, nice, perfect. That's how you want to do that, because this is so, like, out of the way. Now I can just leave, and all those bots are gonna land there for nothing. Okay, now I head up this way, and they can't bot drop for a while, because I've got localization confusion on. That's exactly how you want to handle that. Let's go ahead and use my Seek Artillery again on this base here. So you gotta land it really close to the uh, Fabricator that actually blow it up if you're not... Yeah, there we go. And now we'll head for that medium base and then I'll get the final objective done. Let's go ahead and kill these guys though, so they don't chase me. Any samples in here? I haven't really been checking these bases too much. Uh, oh yeah, I got a couple. Nice. Okay, here, patrol that way. That bot drops yeah, might walk up behind me. I gotta be careful here. Yeah, they're over there. Just use an airstrike on this base. Haven't gotten too much use out of the 120 yet, but that's because I usually use it on the ships and I had to airstrike one group, so. You could easily swap that out for like anything you want. I just gonna have it here because I, I enjoy having it as a backup option if I need it. The, orbit, the orbital laser is a really good choice for that slot too. And you know what? I got some time. Let's check for samples. It's always nice to see how many I can get in these types of missions. Oh yeah, this one's got a lot. Glad I checked the space. Still trying to get the uh, upgrade for your ship that gives you the uh, the enhanced combustion for your, like your fire weapons. Because I want to make a video testing that out. I'm just playing with it because I've never used it before. I want to see how good it makes my breaker incendiary against the bugs. So now this is what you want to see. I've got a completely clear map, five side objectives, all the bases gone, and just one main left. And the extraction is pretty far away, but that's you know it's kind of expected. Try to snipe out the guys on the edge here. It's always a good way to do this. I don't know if they can bot drop yet. They might be able to. I baited out that one a pretty long time ago, but we're about to find out. I don't think they can just yet. Luckily, there's no factory strider at this base. Sometimes these have factory striders on them, and that's the worst. No! Oh, that's really unlucky. I should have stopped that, but I ran out of ammo. Just gotta deal with it. Let's go ahead and airstrike that fabricator. Take out this one here. Uh, the one time I miss. Don't really have time to waste here now. What are you dropping? Okay, tank, that's not bad. Let's see, what's the tank landing? Wanna get that first. Right there. Oh, it's a bad bounce. Come on. Please take him out. No! Oh, I'm so stupid for that. That's how I have my one death. Oh, I'm actually so mad about that. I didn't think its gun was going to shoot that long. Are you serious? You're dead. Oh, there's two tanks. That's why. No, that's... A you have no idea how fresh... Oh, there's three tanks? That's actually the most annoying thing ever. I get a single bot drop because I uh, ran out of ammo in my gun before I could shoot the guy calling it in. And then three tanks get dropped in, and I die to that turret because it's still shooting when I run in front of him. That's annoying. No. See, that, that, that turret you gotta be careful of. It does a, it's like the same as like the walkers, and it does a lot of damage. It's just I've got literally nothing for this tank right now, which is really bad. I wasn't expecting three of them. This might kind of damage it. I don't actually know how much this will do to it. Oh, it is. Oh, actually, this is pretty good. At it. it is smoking now. So come on, please die. No, 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 no. This is a really awkward spot now. All right, let's go and get this done before that turret looks at me. No. Once my shield is back, we'll get it done. Come on. That was really dangerous. Yeah, this is fun. Oh. 
I did not mean to do that. I'm just choking right now. Such a perfect mission, and then I had to die like that. Probably complaining too much, but let's just get it done now. Come on, one button. There we go. I just went out of here. As far away from this base as possible. Let's go extract. Maybe I'll put almost no deaths in the title, you know? I can't technically put no deaths because I had that one stupid death to the tank, but I don't know. <laughs> Just you gotta be so careful when you're playing solo like this and trying to not die at all because, you know, one simple mistake like that and I got a bot drop called in and three tanks and, you know, I died to one bit I wasn't thinking. So, yeah, let's go ahead and extract now. And another question people had is they thought my extraction was way too quiet. And the reason for that is... So, right now, I'm not fighting any bots, right? If I can keep it that way until I get to extraction, it's going to take longer for patrols to actually find me because they're mostly attracted to noise. Because most people, when they're extracting, they extract while being chased by bots or while fighting bots. So, it's like they never get a break from, the, from fighting. Because I'm not fighting anything right now, it might be a quiet extraction again, if I'm lucky. That's kind of what I'm hoping for here. So patrol that way, or at least a single bot. Let's try to avoid them. But yeah, also, we got a nice clean map. No red on it. Got all five side objectives, all the bot back factories. Uh, let's not go that way. I don't want to make noise shooting him. Patrol that way. This is not good. Patrol spawns are going crazy right now. I don't have to kill this guy. Hopefully he's alone. Oh, okay, he is perfect. Let's just keep going. Ooh, come on. Alright, here we go. this called in and now we'll see how many patrols actually end up walking on top of me here if I'm lucky none but we'll see what happens had a decent number of samples too it's not bad 25 26 so we got a single bot let's go and take him out before he bot drops And always use your map to check for patrols because they'll see, you'll see red dots as they get close to you. I'm not seeing anything right now, which is very good. See, I like this extraction point because it's on the edge of the map, so it's harder for. If you don't, if you didn't already know, it's harder for patrols to like spawn if you're at the edge of the map. If you're like in the middle, like if I was standing like right here, patrols would spawn all around me. But since I'm here, they have to spawn like in like this arc here. That's about it. Because obviously they can't spawn, you know, over there. Because that's not part of the map, ETA, technically. One yeah, it should be a pretty quiet extraction. Okay, use the 121s. Yeah, definitely bring, like, the orbital laser maybe instead. You know, probably get a bit more value out of that, but... Yeah, definitely do not need to bring this, but... Did it, Strava. Got some of the ships. Sitting here waiting for Pelican 1. ETA T minus 20 seconds. Oh, come on. It's funny, extractions are a lot more boring when you don't have to fight anything. ETA T minus 10 seconds. I'm telling you, always clear out your extraction point, like in the first 10 minutes if you're able to. Just, obviously, mine is already empty, but sometimes they'll have, you know, tons of bots on it. Always clear it out and make sure it's completely empty so when you come back later, you don't have to fight anything. Alright, here comes Pelican 1. Hey, look, he's got nothing to shoot at. He's, he doesn't know what to do. Alright, let's toss in a, a 120 just for fun. Oh, 
All right, let's get out of here. It's a very successful mission. I'm still mad about that death though. <laughs> that was purely because I thought the tanks of gun had like they shoot in like cycles. I thought it was done, so I like ran out from my cover and I got hit with like three bullets and I died immediately, which just kind of sucks. But yeah, got everything done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one with commentary about how to play stealthy, and I hope it helps you in your missions. This one obviously is more focused for solo hell dives. You can still apply most of this logic when you're playing in a group, but obviously more patrols are going to spawn. You know, more bot drops. It's just, it's just how it is when you're playing in a group. But yeah, five stars, not bad. Uh, we'll see how many kills I got, because uh, normally I try to get like under 200 when I'm trying to play really stealthy. So we'll see how I did there. Got like good number of samples, not bad. Just go ahead and let this load, and we'll see how many kills I got. Alright. Let's see, we got 190, perfect. This is about what I normally get on missions like this where I'm trying to play really stealthy. Because I just obviously don't kill as many boss because I try to avoid most of them. So yeah. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Please uh, like and sub to my channel if you enjoyed it. And yeah, thank you for watching.